Learn car spray painting techniques like the workshops, proper paint guide. In this short space, it is impossible to go into detail at any length, so the following is a brief guideline to ensure quality workmanship and minimal negative comebacks. Of course, guidelines must be established, but they also must be strictly followed. Setting the guidelines and expectations, good training is reflected in quality work, as bad training is reflected in bad work, and prohibitive costs result due to comebacks. It is important to make sure that the training is top-notch. Many paint manufacturers have excellent training standards and it is a good policy to follow and enforce those standards. The following is a good example of good prep guidelines as given by a good paint company. Contaminates that float around can ruin a paint job, and that applies to the surface, and the shop as well. To do this make sure, there is adequate filtration, and that it is frequently cleaned to the point of being almost sterile. Minute dust particles and hair are the worst offenders, making technicians walking dust magnets if the filtration system is inadequate. Every day, and before each job, the shop must be thoroughly cleaned, top to bottom, as much as possible. Keep the spray booth clean always, and thoroughly wash it weekly. Check filter regularly and replace when necessary, as it affects health. Before starting a job, make sure there is nothing like lamps, mirrors, etc. around because they can cause cracking in the top coat and the clear coat. Before doing any surface prep, thoroughly wash the surface, all you need is plain old soap and water, because it removes all water-soluble material that can cause damage later. The vehicle must be scuffed with detergent and hot water to remove wax and sealants. Prepping the paint surface, you might want to try some fine waterproof sandpaper to scrub the surface. Some people like to use the scuff pads, those grey nylon types. Removing the painted area that has become damaged requires some grinding. Ideally, you will need sandpaper that is 80 grit and an orbital sander. You will need to concentrate your grinding along the paint area that is damaged. In order to be successful you will have to see at least a quarter of an inch of color coat as well as clear coat and of course the undercoat as well. So the next step will be to featherage the etching filler. This can be done right over the body filler or even on the bare metal. The purpose here is to provide protection both in adhesion and corrosion. Once you have reached this stage then the next will be for the surface primer. It's easy to see though that by setting and following guidelines and expectations that everyone knows what the job is and what they are responsible for. If there is a problem and a repair comeback shows up it becomes easier to determine where the breakdown occurred. This way you can go back to the drawing board so to speak and correct the problems where they are happening. For more information on car spray painting techniques, please go to the link below now. Don't forget to push the subscribe button. In future we will provide with more information in this channel.